Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this whole face using drugstore or chemist bought products. And in Australia, we call it the chemist, we call it Priceline, we call it Coles or Woolies. That's where we get our drugstore makeup from. Drugstore is obviously a more American thing to say, but obviously if I say a chemist bought makeup tutorial, not many people will understand what I'm saying. So I did my whole face with products that you would see in Coles, Woolies, Priceline, Walmart, Target. So I used L'Oreal, I used Maybelline, I used NYX, I used Face of Australia, which you can only get in Priceline, I think. But yeah, I just wanted to make it more of a accessible makeup look. And this is what I came up with. So if you want to know how I achieved this look then please keep on watching. I'm starting off by priming my face and today I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Base Magique Transforming Smoothing Primer. And I'm just using a foundation brush by Revlon. So this is obviously meant to smooth out pores and create the illusion of a very smooth matte skin. For my eyeshadow primer today, I'm using NYX's eyeshadow base. So the shade of this one is ESB03 and it says eyeshadow base skin tone. And I'm just using a concealer brush from Revlon as well. I'm applying this all the way up to my brow bone and all over the lid. And of course, just blending it out with my finger. The eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is the Blush Nudes by Maybelline. So it's just some gorgeous taupey grey shades, some nice lilac-y shades here, and also some champagne-y shades as well. So it's a good mixture of colours. So I'm going into this light lilac-y shade and I'm using a crease shadow brush from Revlon as well. And I'm just going to apply this to the crease area sort of as a transition color. Now I'm going to use this dark purpley sheeny sort of eyeshadow and it has if you can see it has a purple pearlescence to it and I'm just going to use this on the inner and outer corners on a eyeliner brush and then you just want to take that same crease brush and blend out the edges. Now taking this silvery, sort of purpley color, but not really. It's more silver, I would say. It does have a purple tinge to it. I'm going to take it on a all over shadow brush and apply that to the centers of the eyelids. So now for mascara, I'm using Volume Million Lashes by L'Oreal. And then I'm applying some Ardell lashes and these are the Demi Wispies. So now that they are on, I use a eyelash curler and I just curl my lashes with the false lashes and this just helps them to really lift up and open the eyes. It also helps to hide your lashes so it blends seamlessly in with the false lashes. To finish off the eyes, I'm using NYX's Face Art Slide On, Glide On, Stay On and definitely a Turn On Eyeliner. And this is in pure white and I'm just aligning the inner rim of my lower lash line. You guys don't want to see this close up, do you? It's not very flattering. It just makes such a difference and really it makes the eye pop. Yeah. So then to finish off the lower lash line, again, I'm using that eyeliner brush from Revlon and this shadow here it's more of a matte shade compared to this shadow over here and i'm just gonna run that along the lower lash line and blend it out as well and then i'm just taking one of the little eyeshadow applicators i think that's what they're called anyway i'm taking one of these that came with the palette and i'm using this color here just to blend out that lower lash line This is the Skinny Mascara from NYX. I've tried one of these before by a different brand, but this looks really good. I love baby mascaras because they really get into the lashes and really separate them and lengthen them. So we'll see how this turns out. 
Whoa, that is tiny. Can you see that? So tiny. Doesn't even look like there's a brush there, but there is. So I use this on the lower lash line and yep, it really does help to separate the lashes and lengthen them. So I already have that base Magique primer on my face and I'm gonna use L'Oreal True Match foundation today and this is in the color D3 or W3 and it's called Golden Beige. I will be applying it with this foundation brush from Revlon but I also will be using my Beauty Blender. I love my Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna blend out my foundation with it. I couldn't really find any drugstore chemist bought sponges that I liked, so I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. So when I apply foundation with a brush, I always brush downwards because if you brush upwards or any other way, it will push the hairs in that direction and they will be more visible. So you obviously want the hairs to go downwards because that's the way that they grow. Pretty sure most hairs grow downwards. But if they do grow upwards, you want to push it upwards with the way that the hair grows. But generally it is down. So the reason why I use a brush and then a sponge is because I feel like it just really sinks the foundation into the skin and it also gets rid of any excess. So if you have any excess foundation, it's just gonna take it off and make it more seamless with the skin and also make it look like skin to the best it can. So the next product I'm really, really excited to try, it is the Master Conceal by Maybelline and I'm going to highlight my face with this. This is in the color 30 Light Medium and I'm just going to use that concealer brush by Revlon. That is so, so flawless, I love it. To contour my face further, I'm using the Infallible Sculpt and this is a cream to powder contouring palette. And I have both shades. I have 01 and I have 03. So if you're wondering what shade to buy, I'm gonna show you the difference. This is the 01 palette and it's the light to medium palette. The contour shade is quite cool toned and that is exactly what we want. We want the shadows to look cool toned because we're not bronzing up the face. The cool tones help to create shadows on the face. And I really like this shade here. The highlight in this palette is quite peachy slash pinky. So for me, I probably wouldn't use this color, but definitely this shade in the contour. In the 03 palette, this is the medium to dark palette. As you can see, the contour shade is very, very warm. So I would use that to bronze up the face. I definitely wouldn't use it to contour the face. That is not gonna create shadows on me. That is just going to warm up the face and give it some life. I actually like this shade here for the highlight. It's got a yellow tone to it, which really helps to brighten the skin. That's the difference there if you're wondering what palette to get for yourself. That's the 01 light to medium and that's the 03 medium to dark. So I'm going to use the contour shade in the, the light to medium palette. And I'm just using the same concealer brush from Revlon. And you just wanna follow that across the face, underneath the cheekbones. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit here, tiny bit there. And this is actually a really great shade to contour your nose with. So I'm just gonna contour that. And I'm just gonna add a little shadow there just to make my lips pop. And again, using my Beauty Blender to blend that all in. So I actually couldn't find a really good translucent powder, but I found this Face of Australia one and it's just a loose translucent, it's that color. So I'm just gonna use that to bake and set my face. I'm applying this with the Beauty Blender as well.
While that's setting on the face, I'm going to do my brows. And today I've got the Brow Drama by Maybelline. And this is a pomade crayon. So it's like those pots of gel pomade, but it's in a crayon form, so even better. And I have the colors dark brown and medium brown. I'm just gonna mix both of them because I think that would be a little bit too dark for me. And I feel like this would be just a bit too light for me. To start them off, I'm using the Lash and Brow Brush by Revlon. So this is the darker one. I actually think this is my color, but I'll still use the medium one towards the front. Okay, and then with the lighter one, I'm just going to feather that in the front of the brow. And of course, you just want to make sure you brush them out so it looks a little bit more natural. So now that we have the brows filled in, I'm going to use the Brow Artist Sculpt. I'm just going to use the brush part to brush up the hairs. I'm now just going to brush off that powder that we had sitting on the skin while we were doing our brows and I'm just using a contour brush by Revlon as well. Now I'm going to go in with this contour palette and this is the Master Contour by Face Studio Maybelline. And I'm just going to take this contour shade. It's way too warm for me, so I would probably just bronze up the face with it. I'm using the Contour Brush by Revlon. Still contour in those areas, but not definitive. Is that a word? Just more, you know, bronzing it up and just sweeping it on the cheeks. I should say not really being precise with keeping it in or under the cheekbones. Just really bronzing up the face. And this brush is great for it. It's super soft and it really blends out the product. To highlight the face now, I'm going to use this shade right here. And this is the brush that came with the palette. It's sort of contour angled, but it's quite small. So I just applied it to the tops of the cheekbones the brow bone on top of the brow just a little bit definitely going to apply it in the inner corner of the eye i'm just using the tip of that brush and of course the tip of the nose and of course for blush i'm using the blush brush from revlon and the same palette just the blush color and i'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks so I'm really feeling this color. It's the Vivid Matte Liquid by Maybelline and it's in the color 45 Possessed Plum. And then, of course, is a look even finished if it hasn't been sprayed by a setting spray? No, it's not. So, I'm using Maybelline's Master Fix by Face Studio. Okay, let's do this. I'm just going to shake it. I don't think you have to, but might as well. So guys, that completes my accessible drugstore slash chemist bought makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of it. And I will see you in my next video.